breadcrumbs, but the panko Japanese style is the best. And of course, because we're using breadcrumbs, this is not going to be gluten-free. But you can substitute, if you want to make gluten-free meatloaf, you can substitute the breadcrumbs with rice checks. Okay? Yes, the cereal rice checks. All right. Tyra, you're going to go ahead and stir that up good. We're going to put in some steak seasoning. This smells really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you mix it up. Hey, that's pretty heavy to mix. Mm -hmm. We might put in the rest of the tomato paste since it is a little heavy. very small can of tomato paste. Okay. It is a great thing to make. So we had our egg, our panko breadcrumbs, our tomato paste, and about a pound of meat. And remember if you wanted to make this gluten free, you could substitute the regular breadcrumbs for crushed up rice checks. And you can season them and make your own gluten-free breadcrumbs. This is what it's looking like. Yep, it's looking like a, like a mushed up ball of meat. And it smells divine, even though it's still raw meat. So, we're gonna make a little fancy twist on this. Instead of the regular meatloaf, we're gonna make mini meatloaves. with mini loaf pans. And you know how much I love mini loaf pans. And the reason we're using mini loaf pans is because Greg can take this for lunch instead of a sandwich. So we got it all blended up pretty good. They're already a little shape. And they're convenient. So if you wanted to just pull a meatloaf out for a lunch, you could just pull it out, warm it up. Meatloaf. Okay. So we're smushing it in there. Can you see it good? And where can you find these pans at? Oh man, you can find these little mini loaf pans. Remember I did these in the muffins in them, but you can find mini loaf pans anywhere. Walmart, Dollar Tree. I think these came from Martin's. So basically your local grocery store. Your local grocery store. Now, when they get done, they're gonna look real cool because they're sized enough so that one portion can go on a plate and you can put garnish on it. So it looks like, oh man, I mean a whole mini a whole meatloaf to yourself, but it's actually just a, a couple like two slices of meatloaf. So these, if you didn't get to see them good, these are the type of breadcrumbs we're using. 